Hi guys, I'm going to talk about the awesome work from Nikita Rudin and his team from ETH Zurich and NVIDIA. Um, just talk about it uh, in general. They do an awesome job of uh, in their paper describing how they are able to parallelize the, um, their model using the GPU side of uh, this tool called Isaac Jim, which is soon to be uh, it is purportedly <laughs> going to be converted into um, a Omniverse uh, tool. So I think they're calling it OmniGym eventually in early to late 2022. Um, but they do an awesome job here. And I just wanted to go over how to get it all set up to emulate it. They have some awesome instructions and they read me from their website. But I'll just walk through some of the challenges I faced and we'll go from there. So first you have to um, install Isaac Sim excuse me, Isaac Jim. And to do this, um, you can go to the website uh, from the developer thing. So I'll just, we'll just go here. And here, um, you click join now, you uh, sign up through the developer program, log in, and, and it gives you this downloadable link, you download it, and you're off. So the first challenge was getting Isaac Jim working independent of their project to recreate this. And there is a good example I found uh, on Medium uh, from Stuart, who walks you through getting uh, it installed. Um, I'll uh, put a link to this here, but he talks about uh, how to install the, everything from uh, the GCC compiler, uh, creating your Conda environment, and specifically, I had to use 3.8. Um, and then in upgrading my uh, CUDA versioning. Um, in fact, uh, let's see, let's show you what I have in. So this is uh, the CUDA version that I had to use, as well as the driver. I had a different driver, I think it was 471. And then the key was once you've downloaded the Isaac Jim environment, so let me just go to where I put it, put it in my documents, Isaac Jim, and inside this folder, they have uh, this create Conda environment. So you just run this and it will generate a Conda environment. So you can go ahead and after it's created, uh, join the environment. So, and you're in. Then from there, you have to navigate to their examples. So that goes to Python examples and do the simple example here. And you have to be your folder location has to be here. You can't do it outside the folder. So Python. Joint and then you'll get this error uh, talking about all sorts of fun stuff, but it's the lib Python. And uh, this was the only place I could find the answer for it. I don't remember them discussing the need to export this uh, variable. And so you can copy this and it doesn't work. So you run it, but obviously his is at the wrong location. So let's go ahead and modify it. Uh, my Conda. Yeah. I think I have mine around here. Yeah, this one is mine. So he has an additional colon and dollar sign and stuff, which I don't have. Uh, but after creating, exporting this LTE library path, you should be able to run it. And there it is. Um, all awesome. You know, let's go away. Joint monkey. Uh, so that was uh, the first adventure. Um, he had some other troubleshooting steps. He can help you if you have some of those issues. Um, this is what we put there. All right. The next thing was to run the Isaac Sim environment for the Likert robots. Uh, so you go to their uh, website, and here they kind of give a description of what to do. Anyways, but um, so first you have to go to the RSL underscore RL. Um, repository and clone it and just do a pip install here. But be sure you are inside of your Conda environment. So in my case, if we come up here, we can do cd document github and and inside this folder you would just do a copy. And since it's already installed for me, that's what it looks like here. And so you should be good to go there. Uh, the next thing you need to do is install the required 
uh, PyTorch tools. So let's uh, get rid of that. So you can paste that in there um, and run this. Everything's already installed. And they have this readme on their website, which is at this here. Where is it? Lake Jim? This has got to be it. Yeah, this is it. So um, this is a starting from up here where you follow down. Um, uh, I guess I went out of order here with installing Isaac Zim first and the um, RSL underscore RL library. I'm not sure if that order matters, but if you have an issue, you can always just follow the same order here. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm using 3.8 uh, for this installation. And then for installing the Isaac Jim, go to CD up to my Isaac Jim install. I think it's now I can do this. Everything's already set up. Now we should be good to go to run that first train. So we can just copy this. While this is spinning up, there's one thing I forgot to mention. Sorry, it's a little disjointed as this is running super slow. Um, you need to, if you encounter a set of tools error as such as this, uh, something in their configuration, but uh, if you just downgrade to a lower version of the 59.5.0, uh, it should run. But anyway, this is the, um, let's see, this is the animal um, training in Isaac Jim. That was quite a few of them. But we can now go back here. I'll just show you. You can do, instead of train, you can look at the play, which is cool. Play and then choose the version. I've already trained the A1 robot, so that one we can look at here. So this is a velocity control, giving a angular rotation and a directional velocity for each of the robots. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see if this guy can make it over. Come on. <laughs> Apparently he can't. <laughs> but the, uh, these middle obstacles are actually kind of interesting because they seem the most significant of the challenging terrain types. But now you can hopefully recreate this. They did great documentation. I just uh, thought I'd do a little video about how to get it set up. Uh, really cool implementation, I think. Oh, sorry. You can do it. No. It looks like it reset its, uh, its goal velocity and fluid control. That guy. But uh, yeah, they, they seem to do really well. Like they can traverse these uh, pyramid things and in inverted pyramids. See this guy going up backwards to the side, which is pretty impressive, actually. I don't even know if I can do that walking up the stairs. And I believe they are doing this proprioceptively, so there's no vision input into the system. The only data that a robot has is when it hits something, it knows how to change its gait. Kind of like when you walk up the stairs blind. You can still walk up the stairs, you just walk weird. <laughs> and you get those exciting um, adrenaline rushes when you <laughs> get to the top. Kind of like this robot just did. <laughs> Anywho, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll uh, call it good. Also, wanted to show uh, this Cassie example.
really cool. 